Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here with Alex. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. You sounded so dainty and beautiful then. That's me. Welcome to part two of World's Strictest Parents. We're going to be leaving off after the horrific church incident, and we're going to see how they handle it. It was like that scene from Kingsman. Yeah, it was. Just absolute bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I have to come over from England, yeah? To stay with family, oh, yeah, I don't was. know. Yeah. Here we go, yeah. I'll come over from England, lads. We're starting the video, yeah? I'll come <laughs> over from Westminster, lads. The amount of people that went to school in, like, the posh South England that somehow just developed East London accents is always perplexing to me. I've come over here. I've brought me XL bully. I don't want him to get killed by the English government. <laughs> okay, that's topical, that is. That's very topical. A lot, you know? You don't understand that. And plus, you've took my cigarettes away from me. That's true. I do forget that both of these people are like craving nicotine right now. Don't take away me cigarettes. That's like my human right. I'd like, I'd like some time to myself as well for a cigarette. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. I need a cigarette. Sorry. Say cigarette again. This is the least addicted Alpha Bar user. Alpha Bar? Same thing. To avoid making a scene. Roseanne takes Scepters. Roseanne has taken her out back like old Yeller. <laughs> She's just of Mice and Men style once again, just BAM. I'm gonna fucking blow your head off if you ask for a cigarette again. I just want a cigarette, yeah, and I just want to see the rabbits, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Back at the house, Sevda's desperate for a smoke. Wait, is it Ze is it Sevda with a V? I think the whole last episode we call her Sevda with a B. She's got like a Transformer ass name. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Even the voiceover guy doesn't even know. There's a cigarette in there, I'm assuming. You're no, I need to, to go tighter. Okay, we have a bathroom right over here. No, okay. Sevda. No, Sevda. I need to go tighter. Get off me, bro. Okay. What are you doing? Get off me, fam! Get off me, bro! That's that harassment, man! To be fair, she is trying to smoke a cigarette in her house. That's kind of disrespectful. But, like, at least let her have a smoke outside. Like, come on, she's probably, like, gagging for one at the moment. Yeah, man. Be respectful. Be respectful, bro. We have another bathroom that you Why are you touching me for? We have another I'm going bathroom. home, bruv. <laughs> How are you going to go home? Is she just going to swim across the Atlantic or something? I'm getting on a plane, isn't it? So he tells me she couldn't figure out a flight by herself. What year was this shot? Because if it's pre-2001, it might be easier to hijack one. <laughs> God. At least it's not September 11th uh, when we're recording. That's good. Oh, yeah. We have moved on. Thank God. We have moved on from that, yeah. 9-11 jokes are allowed again now. Just like everybody else should have. <laughs> God. Sorry. <laughs> that was good. I'm going home, but are you stupid? Good fucking dog, man. I'm going home. Are you dumb? They locked her in there. She's she's like stuck in the house forever. She starts banging on it. It's like that um, grave encounters when they try and oh, go through the front door and it's just another hallway and they're just trapped in the asylum forever. That's just American houses, man. They're just massive. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> That's unnecessary. That was, yeah, come on. What like that cover water do to <laughs> Like, you're being filmed by a camera crew. Like, surely you could just, like, behave a bit more. Hey, nicotine is one hell of a drug. Joe, don't film me, bruv. Seriously. <laughs> Signs up for a TV show. Don't film me, bruv. Wait, why is there cameramen everywhere? The producers are like, this is, this is what we're here for. You need to get this shot. <laughs> why is there cameramen everywhere, man? What is going on? No, why are you coming here for? Go away. When you are ready Piss to off. talk like an Piss adult. Off. Go Until the then, away. I will be looking through Peace your bathroom. Off, go away. We really like left the last episode just before shit hit the fan, didn't we? Christ. Bloody hell. You're not coming back in your house. That's that, innit? Bitch. She's just gonna live in the van for the rest of the week then or something. Why not, ma'am? I mean, you have van life. She could start a TikTok. Yeah. Have five kids and make them share a bed. Like, it'd, it'd be incredible. I reckon it would do really well, actually. Welcome to my van life, yeah. <laughs> it's just... I live in his van. Yeah, you'd assume that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you would, actually. That would be part of it. Decide to give Sevda time to reflect on her behaviour. So I'm not gonna go out and get her. And it could be a really cold night out there. I'm going back in the house. Is the camera guy just sat in the van with her or something? Yeah. Yeah, she's hardly alone. She's got a whole crew she could chat to the entire time. People, I think, forget that, like, these are living, breathing human beings holding those cameras. That's like everybody always forgets about the cameraman. And this is, like, early TV, so he's probably sat there with a massive bulky thing on his shoulder. Like, literally, like... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm just giving you privacy. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, pretend I'm not here. As he, like, accidentally smacks her in the head with the lens of the camera five times. Concerned that Sevda's rocking the boat, Andrew has a word. He hates her, remember? Yeah. I like the way he skipped down those stairs, though. He's still got a spring in his step. He's enjoying it. He's, love he's loving it. Get over it. What are you talking about? You, you're acting like some fucking prick. Face is, this is a fucking chance to set things right, and you've already screwed it up on the first day. Wow. Damn. I'm, he's, he's spitting facts right now. I can't believe it. I'm backing him. Yeah, we're backing Emo Bro. We love Emo Bro. I can't remember what his name is. <laughs> we do. We love Emo Boy. Three hours later, 
Sevda has not returned. That is, there is no way. The cameraman is also, by the way, would be like, fuck me, I want to go home. Yeah, the cameraman sat out there, he started to shiver. He's like, mate, can I fucking go to my Airbnb? Sick. Oh, she's lighting a cigarette. It looked like she started like a campfire outside. Like she's like got a tent prop. It's not a bad shout, man. Burn what's ever in the car. Get yourself a safety circle to hide yourself from the sea bears. You're sorted. The Frazies refuse to let Sevda ruin the family evening. Dad, what about you? You're like a kid, you know? We're getting pizza and you're having none and you're sitting on a naughty step. We, yeah, by your own fucking choice. Just go inside <laughs> and then you can eat and be in the warm. Yeah, if you had to like knock that bloody cup over, yeah. everything would be fine. Yeah, exactly. I forgot about that cup, that poor thing. Inside the house, the family atmosphere is winning Andrew over. Excellent. Oh, yeah, food. <laughs> This looks like the first meal they've had like in the entire day as well. So he's probably bloody starving. They spent the rest of the day praying. They were breaking bread and drinking wine. Yeah, God's delivered a double pepperoni pizza, <laughs> extra large. <laughs> She's dead. She's actually died already. Like, what is she doing? Why is she acting like this? I, she's not been banished, is she? She can come inside. Yeah, she's, she's allowed in. Idiot. Wait, let me sleep. She's probably going to get the police come by and, like, arrest her for being homeless or something, knowing the US. No, they'd shoot them, I think. Yeah, all that. None of my parents are divorced and things like that. And most parents of the people I know are divorced come here. And they're, like, the happiest family in the world. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're that kind of happy family that screams they all murder people secretly in their basement. They love God and their love for God keeps them together because if they don't stay together, that's a sin and then God will kill them all. True. I can't even act like a dick towards them. Like, I try, but I can't. They're just so nice. <laughs> it's like he wanted to come here and be a twat. Yeah, but if you were like forced to stay with a bunch of Americans, you want to piss them off too. Leaving Sevda to stew has finally paid off. I really don't I want to walk back in this house, but you know it's got to be done. I don't even know what she's so pissed off about now because she's had some six. Like, that's the only thing that they were stopping her from doing. She's just a child. Sorry. <laughs> That's it. Is that it? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Is that actually... Is that it? You know what's weird is if I acted like that and I was gone for that long, coming home to just open arms and love is just like, no, like, it's wrong. Like, I'd expect to at least get, like, told off. It's weird that they're just like, oh, hi. They're like, welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome back to our lovely family. Pizza surprise for you. The, the delivery guy comes out of the fucking wardrobe and he's just like, oh, save one for I'm still <laughs> He was a paid actor. We care about you. We are going to walk with you. And we expect for you to make mistakes and uh, and start over again. That's called forgiveness. Too right. Oh, and that's the Christian way. Uh, you can't fault them there. They're very, very forgiving people. Are they? It's, yeah, as long as you uh, you fall into the right categories. Okay, well, yeah, fair enough. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, true. If you do what they want. And as long as uh, you, the God that you believe in is their God. Yes. Then they, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, they might, you know, go to war. Yeah, ooh, don't want that happening. Calm and gentle approach seems to be having an effect. I don't know why I do that because I can be so, so considerate and nice to people. Can you? <laughs> I don't know if we've seen any of that yet. Yeah, which episode's that? Yeah, I'd like to see the episode where that happens. Back in London, I would have gone and got a bottle of vodka and just drunk my, drunk, drunk my sorrows away. Honestly, she's probably so used to like, she starts a thing like that and it just escalates into a massive row and it's almost like an excuse for her to then go out and get fucked up. English culture, man. Any excuse for a pint. English culture is pissing off your family so that you can fuck off and go have a pint. Oh, I'm going that. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> The small victory is that we didn't give in and give her the cigarette. We think the cigarettes is a smaller issue than the role of authority in her life. So I thought it went well. I mean, she's learned her lesson, at least for now. There's no way she's learned her lesson. No, not at all. She'll be back at it in the morning, knocking cups over, <laughs> smashing cabinets. Yeah, she'll be doing all of that shit. Throwing tables across the room. Shotgun. Yeah, shooting people. Yeah, all of that. Get some Americanisms in you. I thought that just said sex on the road. Like Maybe just, it does, man. Just... Maybe it's the sex house. <laughs> In the Frazy household. See, that's already... You wake me up at fucking 7am by walking in. You've already pissed me off. You've ruined my entire day. Yeah, I'd be going mental. We have things planned today, so we've got to get up, bud. This time in the morning, Andrew would usually be getting in from a big night out. Yeah, but he hasn't been on a big night out. He, no, he did have a big night. It just wasn't out. It was in Domino's Pizza. Big pizza. It was a big pizza in. That's what he had. The Frazies believe that in order to help yourself, you must first learn to help others. Fuck that. Yeah, it's me. Just me, mate. It's just about me, mate. Shove out your ass. Here at a homeless shelter, 
in San Antonio. Uh, we're gonna go to homeless a place people. Oh no! <laughs> I, I even made a joke about them being homeless earlier. Oh god! I, I'm gonna learn my lesson now. This is how it happens. This is how they educate you as well. This is kind of a test of trust. What I need for you guys to do is to show up and to participate. I'm sorry, the dad just gives me the vibe of like the kind of person that helps homeless people by bringing them into his house and then torturing them for fun. That's like, <laughs> that's the kind of vibes he gives off. I'm sorry, he's so, anybody that is that like, he reminds me, have you seen that episode of Spongebob where he's all smooth and he loses his holes? And he's like, yes. hi, how are ya? That, that <laughs> he's is him. terrifying. He's holeless. He's not wholesome. <laughs> He's holeless. There is a way that people can be helped. It's so satisfying. Maybe the key to my life is not to be so focused on myself. So, we're going to help them all by handing them all Bibles. Oh my god. It, no, because that's what it will be, won't it? They may want a free meal, but hey, this is ha help yourself, as Jesus hey, would say. Teach a man to fish. You know, don't give a man a fish. Just teach him how to fish. But what if he can't afford a fishing rod or whatever it was? Yeah. <laughs> We do not discriminate. So what that means is that there are individuals who have just gotten out of jail. There are some dangerous individuals, so you do have to be careful. Oh, that's good. Good to know. She's letting bloody Sevda in, so she's a pretty dangerous individual. I'm the most already. dangerous individual in here, mate. She walks in there and starts knocking everyone's cups over. Actually, no, we've got, uh, he killed six children. Oh, in it? Oh, oh yeah, but I, like, got in a fight once, in it. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I drink, like, vodka. Yeah, I drink straight from the bottle, in it. I drink Tesco's own vodka. Nah, that is terrifying. You that is Tesco's actually no. Vodka. She's a scary individual. Yeah, that's so. like you might as well be drinking moonshine at that point. I'm a bit nervous now. Good. Good. <laughs> good. There's murderers in here. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. They're gonna kill everyone. When they get out on the street, they're gonna reoffend. You're gonna be their first target. How exciting. Can you do it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, nice do it. All right. We're gonna talk about this tonight at dinner. Wait, talk about it. they're leaving them there. Oh, I thought they were like all going together. They're just they like... technically are homeless, so they could just pawn them off. Just shove them in there. Like, there you go, there's your new home. Lock the door behind them. Fuck it. It's actually a YouTube prank show. This was never World's Strictest Parents. This was <laughs> this was us locking you in a homeless shelter. My name is Fusy Tube. And welcome back <laughs> oh, to God. the Gold Digger prank. I'm Roman Atwood. I'm gonna be pulling a gun on people in the homeless shelter prank. I'm gonna be blowing up my child. Oh, what a classic video. Go watch that one if you want. Very good. Here, take everything off. It's metal. We'll go my metal detector. You take your bandana off. Yeah. I was fully expecting her to make a massive scene about taking a bandana off for a second, man. Oi, mate, I've got a gun under there. <laughs> oh, but I like not done my hair this morning, bruv. Come on. Residents earn their place on campus by taking part in rehabilitation programs. And they're going to get you all ready to serve. Yeah, get ready to serve. Fucking hell, they got like the chefs from Ratatouille in there. Yeah, what's he got under that hat? There's a rat under there. Yeah, and he makes fire fucking meals. For the homeless. It's quite nice of him. Good on you, Remy. Yeah, that's what Remy did after the Ratatouille didn't pay him that well because it was his first gig. So he had to like find a way to make ends meet afterwards. So he went to the homeless shelter. Yeah. <laughs> 100 people to feed. He was originally homeless, but he worked his way up the ladder. So now he's now he's on the other end of the counter. <laughs> I feel like a prick. <laughs> I had to wear a hairnet once in school when I had emo hair like that, and it was the most humiliating experience in my life. Food tech is, uh, yeah, terrifying. That's why I'd always forget to bring my food tech ingredients in. They'd be like, how fucking, what, how do you, why oh, you forgot it again? I'd be like, this is the shittest excuse for a class ever. Do you remember, I don't suppose you remember that one American kid. Oh, how could I ever forget him? He was making, uh, like, chicken. He was frying it in the pan. And he turned off the heat and started putting it in the pan, because he was like, yeah, that's done. So some of the pieces still had pink on the surface of them, let alone fucking through and through. If your child ever makes you anything in food tech, don't eat it because you're going to get food He's poisoning. He's a raw-blooded American, man. Maybe he was just stronger than us. He's used to going out into the, going out in the countryside and just shooting down some chicken and some cow. Taking a bite out of a cow, just mm. as you do, like an apple. That's what they do over there, mate. Go on, I put loads of carrots for you guys. Why is she taught just shut up and just do your job? Like yeah. it's so annoying. She is a jarring individual. She's always doing too much. Like she needs to be more like Evo Boy. I got loads of carrots for you, so like when you shoot up the school, yeah, like remember me. Remember me, like, when you, like... Oh, my God, no, what if that's actually why she's doing it? She's like, oh, I'm being really nice to you, so in case you, like, decide to, like, rob the whole place, you'll be you'll be nice to me. I know you guys are, like, surfing time, right, for, like, that <laughs> double homicide. But, like, please, leave me alone, yeah? 
Andrew is affronted by a lack of thanks for his hard work. They're getting food and they don't care. Yeah, because they kill people. They don't give a fuck. I can understand, like, at least saying, like, thank you after they give them the food would be nice. Like, if they're not doing at least that, that is a little bit, like, come on. But then again, probably got other things to be worried about than, like, your feelings. <laughs> they're probably more worried about, like, mm, where am I going to sleep tonight? Uh, am I going to get killed in my sleep by a crazy homeless person on bath salts? Yeah. Anything could happen. Relax a bit, you part of it. Well, I'm doing it because I, I have to, that's it. Damn, that's, imagine and, like, all the people that are lining up for the food just hearing this conversation, like, oh, right, fair enough. To be fair, again, they probably just don't give a shit, so who cares? After 20 minutes, Andrew has given up. He did that for 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes of work. Oh my God. There's no life. You can't see any hope. Babe, they're on heroin. Also, this is probably the first like good meal they've had like at least all day. It's not about you, mate. His posh boy attitude is starting to come out now. <laughs> yeah, man. He hates the homeless. He hates the homeless. Why don't they just, why don't they just buy a house? Like, come on, man. If I were homeless, I'd just buy a house. We have to channel what you feel into giving people hope. I'm so so true. true. They need to be reminded that there's good people that will do good things for the sake of doing good stuff, not for anything in return. That point is just completely over his head. He does not give a fuck. Upper class background, I've been in private school in my life. Quite a lot of my friends, they make the wealthy people here seem <laughs> like commoners. The amount of money I've been around. All right, all right, just stop it there because you're starting to sound like a right twat now. <laughs> we were rooting for you, emo boy, and now you're being... <laughs> it just contrasts on such a fucking level that I, I just can't handle it. If he went and did a shift in Subway for paying customers, sure. I, I'd be I'd be a little bit miffed that people weren't saying thank you or being polite. But in a homeless shelter, like, get over yourself. He hates them. He absolutely hates them. He wants them all to burn in hell. The Frazies arrived to pick up the teens. Everyone I met, like, got along with them. Yeah. Yeah, probably nice. I feel like I really belong here, man. I really belong here with the five murderers and the and the gangbaggers. Well, yeah, because she thinks that she's a fucking gangster. That's why. Also, look how defeated he looks. Poor bastard, man. Mate, that double pepperoni pizza did not fuel him all the way up until this moment. I can't blame him. I don't know. Not been into it. I did it because I have to. Yeah. I thought something started crawling around his neck then, but it was his hair. <laughs> I thought some like horrific creature was like latching onto him, like a Dementor from Harry Potter. The spider. The way she's like waving out the car, she's always doing too much. She's got such massive main character syndrome and it pisses me off. She never stops, man. Lunch. Just spread it around, man. Spread it around. The crazy. What the fuck is that? Is that potato is that? salad? What is going on there? Potato salad sandwich. Oh yeah, I'll have a carbs in my uh, in my carbs. Yes. Thanks. Can I have a potato sandwich, please? <laughs> Education, character development are critical to a young person's upbringing. No shit. <laughs> want them to start a self improvement program and get them back on track. I think that's probably what they should have started out with before putting them in the public eye. But um, yeah, go off, I guess. This looks like a fucking nightmare. Boys and girls. Girls Club of the Texas Hill Country. That sounds... Yeah, fuck you, they, thems. All of they. <laughs> Boys and Girls Club of America in nearby Bernie. Okay, never mind. Why does it look like a preschool, but it's got loads of, like, teenagers Fucking in it? recreation room, yeah. Anybody got any questions? No slacking any time. They literally got biscuits out on the table, man. Like, what are they trying yeah, to... what are they slacking at? Eating too many McVitties? <laughs> Oh, they live in America, maybe. We have a lot of kids here that are either on probation or have been in trouble. Well, we'll kill people again. Everybody around here is kill people. With kids that are getting... He looks like a killer. <laughs> Christ, what? They all look like killers. He's a killer! That's a stone-cold killer if ever I've seen one. Yeah, Christ, what did he do? Shots. Offenses. <laughs> okay, well, actually, now that you've mentioned that, he does look like a type. <laughs> no, he um, he jaywalked too many times. Yeah, and now he's dead. And now he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. I'm walking, mate. Life in prison. Our focus all the way through is about those two in the front look like they TP'd someone's house, like in an old school like American movie. It's like three toilet paper everywhere. Or hand grenade. Or a hand grenade. Yeah, bazooka. Where are we going? Is that school, bruv? School, bruv. That, that looks like... Is that a school, bruv? <laughs> looks like the cabin in the woods. Both of you are smart. We believe in you. Well, one of them might be smart. Yeah, I think I know what one is smart. I'll let you guys decide that in the comments. Also, like the video while you're down there. Thanks. Hi, Diane Chase. Who are you, babe? Pardon, what's I thought she was crying. It looked like she was, like, already in tears. Diane. <laughs> Why is she laughing at- Diane, that's a silly name! My name's- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nice one, mate. Why is she- That's such a rude thing. You tell somebody you think- Your name's Mark. My name's- <laughs> <laughs> 
Sevda. Sevda, that's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. See, she says your name's beautiful and you laughed at her, you fucking bitch. Fuck's sake. Awful person. Andrew, nice to meet you. His name's not Andrew, it's emo boy. Come on, everybody knows that. We don't put each other down, whether we're dressed differently or oh. talk differently. Yeah, yeah, that goes to you, Sevda. <laughs> <laughs> Savda got no qualifications at school. Oh wow, I couldn't tell. Fucking hell, she's gonna be a smart one. Her mum was issued a parenting order for her low attendance. Soon after, Savda stopped going altogether. What, did she like kill her mum or something? That, that makes it sound like... <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, it sounded like, sound like that's gonna end horribly. The school got her mum to start bringing her in more, and then we never saw her again. We never heard <laughs> of her again. Somebody check on Savda's mum, wherever she is. Miss Chase wants the teens to get to know one another. Sorry, I'm Georgia, I'm 17. At um, Bernie High School, I like to ride horses. Shut. To be fair, that is me when I hear an American accent in person. <laughs> I just like, oh. just be quiet. <laughs> I can't hold it together. I'm sure it's the same with British people in the US. I like to play sports. I'm on the basketball team, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Basketball. I'm a quarterback. This, I'm still so confused. This is like, this is the class of you know non-behavior. You remember what the school for the proper rough kids was like the ones that kept getting expelled out of every you know when you like they'd be let out early because like they were in a, like a school where any people work part time so they'd yeah. be out about like half one and you'd accidentally run into some of them outside the school gate so you'd be like fuck but, and like all of these kids what did that like what could these kids have possibly have done like did they skip school once before in a Christian state that's probably all that matters or they just yeah they play COD yeah got caught listening to heavy metal music yeah. worshipping Satan yeah that's that's all it takes, I guess. They're gay, maybe. Maybe they're gay, yeah. A senior at Bernie Champion. Why is she already- Oh my god, why has she got to fucking make a scene? Wait, go back. What did the woman say? She literally just out? said she was a senior. I have a senior at Bernie Champion. Wait, did we miss something before that? No. She just... Why has she always got to make a scene? Like, she's got such main character syndrome. <clears throat> <laughs> she's off. She's leaving. She's just back home. I go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna walk all the way back home. You're in America. You ain't walking anywhere past the car park. I just want to say that I feel a bit uncomfortable for these people. They're not really the kind of people I'd make friends with. How do you know that? Because you're American. And you're jarring. You're all jarring like people, in it. They're that. They're all gripping vodka bottles and that like, chain smoking, in it. My kind of people. My kind of people, like my vibe is like everybody's a fucking loser. Like everybody's like fucking got no like life aspirations. We're all fucking shitty. We're working like shitty jobs. We're like fucking losers. That is genuinely what caused it. It was like I like doing this. I am currently doing this, and she's like, "Oh, I got fuck all going on." So like, I fucking hate these people because oh, like, like they don't. Around more people, like where we like we just don't really talk about anything of importance because if we do, then we realise yeah. we kind of like fucked our lives up. Oh, and like everything's like a bit shit, and like they don't like, they don't really make me feel good about like doing fuck all in my life. So I'm gonna get out of here because they're making me depressed. Yeah, these people have like achievements and like families and like care about them and like people are like, looking out for them. Whereas like, I don't really fucking I don't, I don't do fuck all. And, like my life should be. Shit. That is the point of the group. Give them the opportunity. They're giving you. They're all together. They're all just all together. And I'm they, just here. What does that even mean? I just don't feel like she fits in, I guess. But then don't run out of the room. You're East Londoner in Texas for one, so you're not going to fit in anywhere. Yeah, you're fucked, to be honest. This show, this show has fucked you. <laughs> if you're not going to accept that you're not going to fit in anywhere to begin with, you're already fucked, exactly. I literally had a joint like that long in my head. <laughs> And mate, and he and, and, and there we go. Andy boy, he's getting right into it, mate. Yeah, and he's he's loving it. He's telling them all of his epic cool kid stories. But he left school with only three GCSEs. That's not awful. No, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Made a lot of effort and kind of threw it back in their face. I've messed everything up. Just be real for a second. He is clearly so much more mature and like actually willing to change than Sevda. Like Sevda's coming here for a free holiday. Yeah, I think he's probably the... Yeah, he seems like he's actually got like his head screwed on at least somewhat. Like he can own up to his mistakes. It was Sevda that was the quiet one. I wanted to hear more out of her, but um... Nah, trust me, bro. You did not want to hear any more out of her. I'll just... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That's what, it, that's what you would Heard. That's all it would have been. She seems cool. I wish she would like open up to us because I mean, I think she'd be cool to like talk to and hang out with. See, they're willing to make friends. Also, why is Chad Kroger from Nickelback in the group? <laughs> What's going yeah, on? What is going on? <laughs> Carlton makes an approach. So you like art, you're very stylish. You have a lot going for you. Americans are so jarred. Yeah, it's just so weird. Hey. You've got a lot going for you. I'd be like, fuck away from me, please. <laughs> Stay the fuck away. It's always like they've got good intentions, but the delivery is always so weird. Well, they're like, this because it doesn't feel real. Because it doesn't feel real. Yeah, like, that's it. It's like they're reading from a script. It's, it's like, so strange to me. You are awesome. 
It's like, no, you're taking a piss out of me. Like, you're bullying me. Like, what's going on? I, that's it. No, no, no. I think you've hit, the, you've hit the nail on the head there. It's like the American way of speaking, at least these guys. Hey! It, it perfectly falls in line with how British people sarcastically talk to each Anyone other. Anyone can make it in New York City, man. Even you. Oh, do you know what? It's because every compliment comes across like backhanded. So it's like, you know, anyone can make it here. Even someone like you. And it's like, what are you trying to say? And it's like, what are you trying to say? I'm, I'm a failure. I'm a loser, like... but even losers can make it here. They're like, you know, that compliment he just went, he was like, got a lot going for you. That implies that maybe she doesn't believe that. Like, you know, I know that you think that you're a fucking loser, but you got a lot going for you. It's like you've accidentally triggered an NPC dialogue. Yeah, it's like when you accidentally click E on somebody and then they just like lock in hey, and start talking to you. What do you want from my shop? <laughs> Fuck off. You wanna know where I just got back from? I just got done five months in jail. <laughs> Whoa, what? what? Why is he so cheery? Also, why is he talking to himself? She's not replying. It's because they're like this. They're weird. He's like a he's like a movie character. I'm gonna monologue at you now. Yeah. Do you know where I just got back from? Vietnam. If it was Vietnam, war crimes would definitely be something you'd be in jail for. He sent news to a minor. I think he got caught underage drinking. For five months in jail. For five months though. How? Yeah, but like, That's look at him. fucking looks like, mental. He looks There's like, no yeah, way. he can't be underage drinking. Yeah, because of five months in jail. There's no way it's aggravated assault. Don't DUI. Yeah, it's either sexual or it's a DUI. I've been through rough times. He didn't say what he went to prison for. What did you do, lad? Yeah, what well, did he kill his stepdad then or something? I don't know where the body's gone. Just don't do school. I say go for it. Yeah, I mean, Carlton, you're talking to a brick wall here, so I'd probably give up if I were you. Just like we need to give up on this video and uh, move this on to a part three in the next one because this is long. Carlton went to prison for five months. He went to prison for doing the fucking Carlton dance or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... It's not on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Play for watching anyone. the video, guys. Um, check out Alex's channel. His link's in the description. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and goodbye.